Hey everyone, Tio here. Welcome to another book review. Today we are going to take a look at another book from Frank Webb. This is Strengthen Your Paintings with Dynamic Composition. This is another intermediate book on watercolor painting, just like the other book that I have featured recently, Webb on Watercolor. So the artist and author, Frank Webb, he has been painting since 1947, so he's a very experienced painter. And in this book, there are 24 artists who would talk about composition. So this book is on composition, on how you can design powerful and eye-catching paintings in all mediums. So the concepts here, you can use them with any medium, watercolor, oil, colored pencils, dry media, wet media. There are a lot of beautiful examples in this book. So this book focuses on composition, on design, on planning. There are some step-by-step -step demonstrations that explain the concepts that are behind planning the scene. These are the basic fundamentals on how you can incorporate some design elements into your scene. So when you look at a painting, sometimes many of the design elements, they don't, um, if you don't understand these design elements, they won't, you won't think about them. But once you go through all these design elements and you look at the painting now, you may start to understand why the painter, the artist planned the scene in a certain way. You may look out for patterns, like why did the artist put a certain focal point in the background or in the foreground. How the artist uses light and shadow, how the artist uses curves to direct the viewer's attention. So here we have another demonstration from another artist. So we have 24 artists and each will give their own take on composition, which is really nice because when you give an artist the same subject or same topic to talk, uh, to cover, they will all talk about it differently because every artist, their interpretation, their perspective is different. Short tips, there are little brief tips here and there throughout the book. So this is chapter 5 on value. The subjects are quite varied. So we have still life, landscapes, cityscapes, portraits, people. This is a study on tonal values. White against dark, dark against white gray against light, light against gray. And this is actually quite, quite useful because there are so many ways to play around with the light, with white, gray, and black to create contrast. So this is how to apply the concepts here. These are the different examples. Chapter six on colors. So some basics on colors and color mixing and color theory. Some color studies. One full page of tips. So there is a lot of information in this book. This is uh, one of those books that you have to really go back again to read again to digest, to really absorb what you have read. So this is not those step-by-step -step instructional books, uh, even though there are some step-by-step -step demonstrations inside. But this is really a more intermediate book. So if you are, if you want to challenge yourself, if you want to learn more about composition and focus, design, incorporating design into your paintings, 
this book is one that you can consider getting. And you can see that there are really a lot of beautiful examples in this book. Lots of tips. And that's it. So this book has 100, this paperback edition has 140 pages, around 140 pages. And this is published by Echo Point Books and Media. This book was originally published in 1994. This is the reprint edition from 2015. So the publisher has reprinted some of Frank Webb's books that were published like 20 years ago. This is one of them. This is the other one. The third one is Watercolor Energies. All these three books, they are really insightful and I highly recommend this. So if you are interested to get this book, you can get it through the Amazon and Book Depository affiliate links in the video description below. If you get through those links, I actually earn some commission at no extra cost to you. So thanks for your support in advance. That's all for today's book review. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.